welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please ensure to click the subscribe button please ensure to also click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you always get to see me i mean don't you want to come back and see this beautiful face again and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome guys thank you so much for always coming back for your support for the comments and everything basically so this is me officially wishing you guys a happy new year. yeah happy new year guys i really pray and i hope that this new year will be that season which we've all been waiting for and that we'll be able to live to see the end of this year and that it will be a blessed 2022 for us so i felt like wait okay before then i haven't posted in a while like i really miss this seriously i miss i, I miss actually this yeah <laughs> i miss editing and stuff like this and i felt like i haven't posted in a while so it would only be nice if i started with something you know motivating for the year you know being new year something to like encourage us and you know more like a ted talk you know yeah i still have other content that i'm yet to post i should have posted them last year but i was too lazy i'm not really lazy lazy though but i was kind of like busy sorting out life my life yes so but hopefully after this vlog i'll post them so stay tuned for more content and if you've watched up to this point and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button now okay so today's video okay i just wanted to share something that happened to me while i was in camp okay so before i went to camp okay i went to camp last year 2021 so before i went to camp i think it was in 2019 or 2020 there's this girl I actually follow on Instagram, like, you know, there are some people that you just cannot miss their content. You always, always anticipate them. So she went to camp and she, she's not, a, a, she wasn't, I don't think she, I know, she didn't vlog it on YouTube though, but it was on her Insta story. She made like stories for her NYC journey. So like every day she kept us up to date and it was more like I was in camp following her all through her NYC orientation camp days. So, um, she joined OBS and OBS is Orientation Broadcast Service. Um, it's a unit in camp where their, their work is basically dissemination of information, their communication, just passing out information basically and entertaining and stuff like that. So that's what OBS does. Mostly announcements, you know, they have shows, talks, like what I'm doing, yeah. So, um, she joined OBS and the way she made it seem all fun, I was like, ha, if I go to camp, it's OBS. Like, I've been singing this thing. Like, my friends, Shuni, you're watching this. Shuni knows. Like, I kept saying, I'm going to join OBS. I'm going to join OBS. My sister knows. I said I was going to join OBS. So, like, OBS was it. I'm going to join OBS when I go to camp. I went to camp and, yeah, my friend and I, Shuni, happened to be in the same camp. We are, I served in um, FCT Kuba camp. So we happened to be in the same camp and she too was also interested in joining OBS. So we auditioned and we got in. She was a writer because she's good at writing. And me, obviously, you know what I am. You know what I, I actually joined? I was a presenter because this is what I am good at. So I was a presenter. So everything started well. We started the, you know, the OBS was not in full though because most times in camp, um, activities start in full after swearing in. So for the meantime, we're just basically announcing the major announcement. But major announcement was, please and no, this is the OBS. Please ensure you're wearing your face mask properly. Please ensure you're wearing your face mask properly now. So that was what we're doing. The only funny part about joining OBS, like that was okay because um in our um state code, we wore a tag that had our state code in it. So. There was also like slots put another um card so we had our obs card id card with our names on it so to, uh, most times when people see the card and like so obvious so if anyone was telling us wear your face mask wear your face mask because that was what most people knew obs for please ensure you're wearing your face mask properly please ensure you're wearing your face mask properly so they'll be like so if anyone was disturbing us to wear our face mask properly wait, 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 wait. to the point that most people did not know my name 
they just knew me as OBS. There was one time after camp, after I came out of camp, and we were doing our documentation, and when we went to the zonal office, I met one of my platoon um, guys, one of the guys in my platoon, and he was like, OBS. He, this guy doesn't even know my name, but he knows me as OBS. Like, he was like, OBS. So that was it. Like, you're an OBS, you have a car. Just know that automatically your name is OBS. Yeah, OBS. Okay? So after swearing in, we now started the main stuff. That was um, our OBS head. She was a woman. She now divided us into, like, different programs and stuff like that. So um, my name came out in continuity continuity is announcement stars you know like what i just finished saying now and any announcement maybe to open the station and stuff and she also put me for news so um, everything was going on well where my story is leading to now is the day that i fell ill in camp god the worst place actually fall ill in fall ill actually guys is in camp it's terrible seriously it's it's, it's terrible so i fell ill in camp like, I was having cold, yeah, serious cold. Like, I was just feeling feverish, basically. So, I wasn't, for like two, three days, I wasn't so active in OBS. But the good part was, I let the um, woman at the top, yeah, our uh, OBS head, I told her, I let her know, I informed her about my health status and everything. And she said it was fine. I think she even called me safe. She called me. She was like, how am I doing? Have I taken medication? Am I in the sick bay? Like, she was very concerned and everything. And I was like, oh, okay, thank God. At least somebody is aware of my state too soon. Like, there won't be any issues. You know when you're not available, like, at work and stuff like that. So now, I think I was ill for like two, three days then. I think on the third day, I got better and I reported back to the OBS. God, guys, like... Okay, so when I go back to OBS, everything, like, changed there was a new like roster like everybody had gotten their id cards except me like i just felt left out basically i felt like within just two three days i was not feeling fine and suddenly the world has like people have moved on and basically this is what my video is all about it just dawned on me how you know like when people die and in less than weeks or so and people move on with their lives and you know get back to it and it's as if nothing ever happened and actually it hurts me because i was now feeling like useless like i mean everything was new and i was like it's just two three days old that i wasn't available and all of this has happened and the woman was now kind of doing as if she did not know me like i said i was like well, ma, I called you and it was just like, yes, she, uh, yes, she remembers that I was ill and everything. But really, I felt hurt. I, at a point, it's here. Yeah, it's, it's just hung here. <laughs> it's just hung here. Yeah, I can be that emotional. Yeah, I felt hurt, actually. I felt like the world had left me like that, moved on. So the punchline of my tale, my story is just, life is too short. It's a new year. Like, go for what you want to go for. Like, what is it you want to do? What is it you want to get? Like, what is it you have in mind? Like, go for it. Because in the end, once you die, or maybe something bad happens to you, life goes on like, nobody really gives a hoot about, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, life goes on, basically. Life continues. You can't continue revolving around that situation. People have to move on. So... Try to just, um, like, it's a new year, and um, just try to do something, something fun, something you haven't tried. I'm not saying you should go and do something bad or something illegal, but there was something I learned from somebody. Is this Salem King, Gabby Dimage stories? I can't really remember. And it was last year, and I think that was what triggered me to do something I never would have ever imagined myself doing. Like, nah. He was like, try something new. Yeah, try something new. I mean, it won't hurt you. It won't kill you. The only thing is fear. And if you're too afraid to actually do something or start something, you find out that somebody else will come and do it. That same thing you wanted to do. And you'll just be left with regret. So life is too short to keep on, you know, staying in your shell, in your box, and uh, basically. So 2022 should be a year of action. Yeah. A year to, like, break forth, break even, try something new, 
go for what you want because people are dying every day basically so the least you can do is have that fulfillment that you actually tried you actually did something even if it didn't turn out well but at least you gave you your all you gave you your best shot so yeah that's what i wanted to share because really i was like wow life moves on so fast like that like just two three days oh guys just two three days i was not available and all these things happened people got new tags um the roster had changed they've involved other people like ah like it was it was it was a lot to take in i know yeah somebody may see this and think it's petty but that's just me and that's how i felt the truth of the matter is life goes on whether we like it or not so just do what you can do while you can while you're still alive to do it like just do it i mean as long as it's legal do it i need to go and do something else if it's legal and right in the eyes of god do it yes it never killed anybody to try something new or you know take a risk life is a risk at its own self it's a risk so just do what you can do while you can while you still have the energy and the breath to do it so that at least when you die you die fulfilled that you did it yeah and you don't die with regrets and yeah so just yeah 2022 a year of great accomplishments a year of many things so i just felt like i should motivate you guys yeah 2022 guys god wow time flies it really really does fly anyways i really pray and i hope this video made sense to one or two people i don't know i feel like i've been just saying gibberish but if it made sense to you please leave it down in the comment section down below so i know that i'm not just talking junks and stuff like that please lay it down in the comment section and if you've been in a situation like that please also lay it down in the comment section let's have a chit chat let's talk let's discuss let's rub minds together yeah, so I don't feel like I'm the only one who's kind of crazy and stuff like that. So please lay your comments, your contributions, and please, I would like to, you know, get feedback of, you know, how my videos have been and maybe what you like me to actually make. Maybe a vlog or a sit-down video, something to talk about. I'm actually a bit, like, I'm running out of topics at some point yeah that's why i haven't really done a sit down video like it's been a while i actually sat down to make a video so like please please don't just leave me talking to myself please just say something in the comment section even if it's hi or happy new year just tell me tell me tell me tell me and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really would love to see you guys more often you know engaging in my videos i really love to continue posting try to be faithful in posting every monday so every monday is always try to always check up on my channel because there might be a surprise package for you guys and i'll try to be consistent even if that uh, is difficult to come by these days but i'll try my best to be consistent because i love you guys and i don't want to disappoint so i want to give you guys all 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 everything that i can offer actually yeah so that's just what the video is about and like i said i really hope this year is actually the best like it surpasses all other years for you yeah so this is me officially signing out yeah if you've not subscribed again please ensure to click the subscribe button why am i talking like that if you have not subscribed please ensure to click the subscribe button please ensure to like please ensure to share please ensure to comment I'm still sure to share my video. This could be a new year gift, you know. When you share my video, actually, God will bless you. Like, you're blessing somebody. Yeah, so I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!